Rise this morning. Joining us now is CNN producer David Shortell. He was on the scene when this happened in Fort Lauderdale. Tell us everything that, that uh, transpired this morning. Allison, an extraordinary morning. We were here at 5 a.m. waiting for whatever was going to happen. It was dark, 6 a.m., just after the hour. About a half dozen police vehicles with sirens, but no sound. Silent sirens pull in front of this Fort Lauderdale home where Roger Stone was presumably asleep. The lights were off in the house. About a dozen officers, FBI agents wearing tactical vests and with large weapons, fanned out across his front lawn. One went up to the house and rapped on the door, shined a flashlight inside, and said, FBI, open the door. Moments later, as you heard in the video, it said FBI warrant. That's what the agent said. We then saw a light go on the second floor, and moments later, there was Roger Stone in the doorway. That was uh, our video exclusively you saw shot by Gil De La Rosa, an extraordinary arrest here in Fort Lauderdale this morning. What was Roger Stone's reaction? Did you watch them take him into custody? We were we were being moved away as it was happening. We were trying to bring you as much as we could as it was happening. We saw Roger Stone come to the door, obscured by an FBI agent. He was not wearing his usual uh, attire, which is, as we know, these fancy suits. He was in sleepwear. Uh, he had his glasses on. He did say, yes, I'm Roger Stone. And then we were moved before we saw them actually take him into custody. But many lights, heavy weaponry, they were, they were taking him away for what we now know is a pretty hefty indictment. Could you hear Roger Stone saying anything? Was there any kind of discussion between the agents and Roger Stone? The agent asked him, are you Roger Stone? And he confirmed yes. That was the extent of the discussion that we were able to overhear from our uh, perch before we were moved. But it was friendly. As you know, some of these warrants, these arrests, these middle-of-the-night uh, operations like this don't always go smoothly. This went very smoothly. The, the operators, the FBI agents fanned out across his lawn silently before they shined that flashlight in and then first started shouting, FBI, open the door. Roger Stone appeared to surrender without any uh, issue. Absolutely. I mean, when the FBI takes this approach, it's because they think there's a possibility of the arrest not going smoothly. I mean, that's why they take all of those precautions. But what's so fascinating is that we've talked to his attorney. The attorney didn't know this was coming. Clearly, Roger Stone didn't know this was coming. You were staked out at his house. You didn't know that this was coming. Why were you there in position? Allison, it's, it's a reporter's instinct. The whole Russia team thought maybe something was happening. There was some unusual grand jury activity in Washington, D.C. yesterday. The grand jury, Robert Mueller's grand jury, typically meets on Fridays. Yesterday, a Thursday, there was grand jury activity. We also had some other signs that maybe something was going on this angle, the Roger Stone angle. So we showed up at his house this morning. We were the only ones there. And lo and behold, the FBI agents did come and arrest him. I'll, I'll make a note. When Paul Manafort, uh, uh, President Trump's former campaign director, was arrested, he surrendered at an FBI field office in Washington. He walked in the front door with his lawyers, and that was in the morning around 8 or 9 a.m. I was there as well for that uh, surrender. This very different. Absolutely. No, this is remarkable. What we're watching on the other side of our screen there is remarkable to see how Roger Stone was taken into custody this morning after being indicted on these seven counts. When the FBI yelled, the audio that you caught, on the microphones where they say, um, FBI, open the door, and then the next thing they say, well, I'll, I'll play it for you, and then I want to ask you a question about it. Listen to this audio. FBI, open the door. The next, that second thing they say is FBI warrant. Do you have any sense on whether that was an arrest warrant or a search warrant and whether or not they are now inside his home searching for things? Yeah, Allison, you're, you can actually see behind me. That's the block where it all happened. There's a, a minimal police presence now. When we were first here this morning, there were <clears throat> maybe about a half dozen police vehicles that were here for that. We believe it must have been a, an arrest warrant because it was taken into custody shortly after you heard that FBI agent say warrant. Now, it's, it's unclear to us if they're still there. There are some indications that maybe the law enforcement is not at his house right now, as 
just by the fact that we're not seeing flashing lights, but we're obviously now about 100 yards up the street. They moved us back literally in the middle of that arrest. So we're not able to see what's going on in that house right now, but I can tell you that the law enforcement operation here has scaled down immensely. We know Roger Stone is not here anymore. He was taken away maybe about a half an hour after that arrest. Uh, and now we know there is a court appearance later this morning where we'll be at least. David, that looks like an awfully nice neighborhood. I'm sure they are not used to FBI agents in uh, flak jackets showing up just before 6 a.m. in the darkness and taking people away from that lovely residential area behind you. Yeah, that's for sure. There's a lot of bikers, joggers, walkers. Even as early as 5, 6 a.m., people are out walking down. There's an intercoastal waterway here. There's some nice water, some nice boats. It's a, it's a very nice neighborhood. Uh, and Rogerson had a beautiful house, and uh, this is something that the neighbors are not used to. That's what multiple neighbors have been telling me as we've been here on their sidewalk reporting this news all morning. Well, uh, David Churchill, your uh, reporter's instincts mm -hmm. were right on this morning. You were in the right place at the right time to bring us the exclusive video of Roger Stone being arrested on seven indictments from Robert Mueller's team. Please, uh, we'll come back to mm -hmm. you throughout the morning when you get any sort of information. Thank you very much for being right there. Thanks, Alison.